are nine areas of activity. The eighth area, the seventh area is religion. And uh, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. The white supremacists, when they got the idea that they were going to establish something called white supremacy, they said, we have to dominate these people in all areas of activity, including their religion, particularly their religion, because religion is what? A strong belief backed up by action. That's all any religion is. And the white supremacists said, we're going to make white supremacy the strongest religion that has ever existed. They have succeeded in that. They are not in the process of doing that. Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Confucianism, Judaism, all of these other religions don't come anywhere close to being as strong as the religion of white supremacy. A strong belief backed up by action. So people are in complete disarray. Confusion, which is what the white supremacists do. They confuse people. Well, we got them confused. We're working on getting them all confused sexually. But we have long ago got them confused when it came to the seventh area of activity, religion. All of these dark-skinned people around here killing each other, hitting each other over the head with the Bible, having endless barbershop arguments about what Ezekiel meant, or what Solomon did or didn't do, or what Ruth said or didn't say. We got them confused. That's what we do. We take any holy book, and we read it, and we thoroughly add to it and subtract from it. And then we distribute pamphlets, I mean, or samples of it, I mean, that adds to the confusion. I mean, with our names on it. And we establish different type of churches and whatnot. Different church on every corner with a different name. It's supposed to be the same religion, but we've got a different church with a different name. Adding to the confusion. You know, go over here to the Protestant church. Oh, no. They, they don't know what they're talking about. Then go over here to the Catholic church. And, oh, no, they don't know what they're talking about. Well, what about Jehovah's Witnesses? Okay, well, we'll sample some of that. And they don't know what they're talking about. And then the white supremacists sit back, well, when it comes to all you dark-skinned people, you got one religion, and that's the religion that I say that you have. But I might say, depending on how I feel, that you will have all of them at once or none of the above. But you will bow down to one religion, and that's the religion of white supremacy. I don't care what you think in your heads. And you black people can argue all you want to in the barbershops over there on the colored side of town or in your millions of churches. You can scream and yell and stomp and holler. But when the white supremacists walk into your church and say, all of you, get on your knees to me because I'm the one who feeds you, clothes you, shelters you, and even allows you to have a church on this corner rather than a parking lot. So you will do what I say, or you will feel my wrath. I'm your God, and don't you ever forget it. 